Hi, welcome to our channel. Uh, my name is Shibin. Uh, today we are going to discuss about um, uh, plumbing drainage services. Drainage services, many uh, types is there like uh, internal, external, underground, such kind of uh, drainage services are there. Today we are going to talk about uh, external drainage service. It is, you know, uh, you can see in the building, in surrounding, there is so many manholes, cover us you can find over there. So under that, there is a lot of piping is there, there is a slopes are there. So we will discuss about those kind of uh, slopes and all. So for this uh, building, this is a building drawing actually. Then you will, uh, you will get the drawing like this. You see, you can see, you cannot see like this. Uh, when you open this drawing, see this is the drainage line you can see from here it is moving until here the slope stop here and from here it will start here and going here 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 and coming until here okay from here it will go to the municipal uh, drainage you know it will connect it to the municipality so uh, we need to find out what is the slope we are providing here up until here from here also what is the slope we are providing until here and this is all manholes see here also you can see the manhole all this internal pipes is connected to that uh, manhole see for example this is one manhole uh, ground level manhole this is all toilet drainage everything is connected underground to this manhole so before uh, going to study about the slope and all we will see the section how the manhole looks in that here we have this um, uh, we in the um, uh, construction drawing itself we can find out installation details uh, installation uh, details drainage layout in the drawing you can see all the section details for the manhole so this is the top level of the manhole uh, means the cover level and the interlock also is uh, will be in this level this is called normally zero zero level uh, this is actually manhole, cast in uh, manhole. Okay, this is the depth actually, and this is the wall. This is the wall. This is a section drawing actually, and here is the pipe. So uh, the bottom portion of the pipe is called the invert level of the pipe, and this is uh, you know uh, if the uh, manhole is too hi uh, high, uh, we need to provide you know step uh, brackets you know to go down going down to the uh, manhole for cleaning purpose and all we need to provide uh, steps okay this is the section details actually and uh, here you can see this plan you see this is the manhole this uh, circle uh, so sorry square you can see this is a uh, block works and block work there is internal blasting is there sometimes internal uh, grp lining is there uh, those things uh, we, uh, are there uh, for uh, uh, you can check in the specification whether there is internal uh, GRP lining is there or what. GRP lining means after uh, doing all the manhole work there is a coating is there. Mm, uh, uh, GRP coating will be there. Uh, with that coating, uh, uh, you know, the um, uh, this one will be very hygienic. You know, the uh, manhole co cover will be very hygienic. This is the one portion. Okay. Now, we will move again to this uh, our drawing this is our drawing and before that we, I will show you what is uh, zero zero level for example this is one uh, building see this is um, gra uh, this is a uh, basement level see this is a building actually I will show you see this is the tower building or whatever from here this line you can see this is ground level interlock uh, it is standing here this is ground zero zero level from here the basement is starting three basement is there so there it will go minus uh, four minus seven you know each uh, distance see, for example minus eleven you can see here three point five meter is there so eleven plus three point five means uh, sorry minus three point five means this is seven point five correct like that it will go on minus from here you will see the plus you know for example this is the zero zero SSL uh, finished floor level um, uh, SSL means uh, slab level okay slab level and the FFL is there ok 
Okay, and from here you can see the six meter height is there, six point zero five meter height is there. So from you can see this uh, distance. Okay, this is zero zero level. All the manholes normally in zero zero from uh, they are measuring from zero zero level. So again we will go to our drawing. In this drawing, first we need to go to this uh, table. This the, all the manhole uh, external manhole drainage uh, drawing you will find this kind of one uh, table. In this table there is manhole numbers is there. I inspection chamber zero one inspection chamber zero two. Okay, so zero one where this is twenty B. Okay, uh, zero one maybe here. Uh. Yeah, zero one. Zero one. This is uh, ten A. Okay, this is. Uh, uh, what is the number? Uh, nine inspection chamber nine. Okay, so uh, we will go to this table again. Uh, where is the inspection number? Uh, chamber number nine. See, this is the nine. You can see over here. This is inspection chamber number. Reference number is there nine. And uh, uh, this um, level. What level? Invert level. Invert level means the pipe bottom level is one point eight meter down from the zero zero level. Okay. And uh, sorry, 1.18 meter. 1.18 meter uh, means 1,180 mm. This is in all in meter uh, actually. And the uh, depth, okay, the boat till the depth, uh, what is that? It is also 1.18. And here you can see inspection chamber size. And uh, there is a, a manual cover size is there. Manual cover size will be normally 10 centimeter higher because we need to fix the frame i will show you both see inspection chamber size is 600 by 600 cover size is 700 by 700 how it is i will show you we will go here see this from here to here it is 600 mm from here to here it is 700 mm because then only we can uh, found uh, we can uh, locate the manhole over uh, here properly in the same size also we can fix it but it will not be strong and you see there is a small bracket is there inside this is also this is a you know, square uh, frame in the frame the manhole is cover is sitting actually okay we will go to the table again in this table and in the last thing is that the uh, medium size the uh, size you know cover uh, ductile iron material is there but what is the class there are three classes is there light duty medium duty heavy duty heavy duty in case uh, the, you know we are putting for you know uh, roadways run in the trailer or, or truck something is passing we need to put uh, um, heavy duty medium duty we can uh, go for you know normal so, so from car or something is there in our uh, home light duty means in the back back uh, backyard of the villa only human people they will walk over there in that case we can go for light duty uh, manhole again we will come back here uh, for example I to as I told you this manhole is starting from here to here until here okay so all slope is coming to here so here you can see what uh, the slope is 1 is to 200 actually what is 1 is to 200 1 is to 200 means once this pipe is passing 200 meter then we need to provide one meter slope down this is plan view actually uh, but here uh, what is our length this is our length uh, in mm actually 11,186 uh, so 11.186 uh, meter okay 11 meter is there so uh, we need to convert this slope into this 11 meter 1 is to 600 how much it will be from here to here what will be the slope so for that I will open one uh, very simple uh, calculation example for you I will make one uh, text document see for example you can see I think 1 is to 200 Okay, you can go directly 1 by 200 into length. You can see or no? I don't know how to make the big. Uh, 
one. Okay, let me open one uh, radio file. It will be very easy, you know. Radio file. Okay. the photos one is to 200 you find the slope over there so how it will be as I told you when the pipe uh, pipe is passing uh, where the line insert shapes when for example one pipe is passing this length for example uh, how much may we find there 11 point uh, um, 11 point 11.196 our pipe from here to here is 11.196 meter only 11.186 meter we are we will do the calculation in meter so here one manhole is there here one manhole is there in both end there is a manhole is there so I will insert again one shape over here to understand here one manhole is there and again insert shape here one manhole is there so this is elevation view for example uh, not plan uh, uh, plan view elevation from side view so this distance is 11.6 uh, meter and the slope is 1 is to 200 how we will calculate for example this uh, this uh, invert level is minus 1 meter okay and here what will be the uh, level I will I will find out now so we need to go like that very simply we can calculate like that one in the calculator you can do like that in the scientific calculator also you can do one by 200 into length length how much 11 point 1 8 11 point one eight so is equal to what is the answer I will calculate in my mobile one second please one by sorry, one by two hundred into eleven point one eight so uh, zero point zero five uh, meter divided into 5.5 uh, centimeter we need to make it down from here to here just a minute I will recalculate ok whatever this one uh, I, I think it is uh, 5 centimeter now um, zero uh, my answer was one second uh, 11 sorry 1 by 200 1 by 200 is equal to into 11 point <laughs> 1 by 200 is equal to into 11 point 18 so 0 point 0 5 5 9 0 point 0, 5, 5, 9, 5, 5, 9, yes. This is in meter actually. We need to convert this one into centimeter. So, uh, meter to centimeter, it will be, you know, how much? We uh, came back again. So we calculated here. See, this is uh, 0 0.0559 meter. So that means 5.59 centimeter. So if the slope is see the slope is passing from here to here, you can see over here. So if here minus one meter uh, is the 
uh, invert level of the pipe invert level means the bottom port uh, of the pipe I will mention here uh, minus 1 meter 1.0 meter so here we need to uh, we will do it in a centimeter because it is a very small value for example uh, 1 meter means 100 uh, centimeter okay centimeter you can do it in meter also no issues 100 uh, centimeter is equal to 1 meter so here we need to go down so here again it will be this is weird actually the, here the invert uh, this portion uh, the invert level will be minus we need to again uh, add this one because it is going down okay minus one zero five point five nine centimeter here the pipe invert level should be this one so like this way it will go continuously this is one is to two hundred uh, slope uh, calculation actually and again from one manhole to another pa uh, manhole when we are passing when we need to provide an extra one centimeter for each manhole then only we can do the manhole benching manhole benching means there is inside there is a masonry work is there uh, you know that I will explain to you later I will show you uh, that manhole benching for doing the benching we need to provide extra one centimeter so when you are starting uh, invert level from this side for example, uh, I will put one line over here, insert, the line is passing from here, so for example, see, it is going again uh, for the next manhole. Then what we need to do, uh, here the invert level will be uh, minus, it is going here, next invert level will be minus. Uh, one zero six one zero six point five the other side okay I think you understand already okay this side it is one zero uh, sorry one zero not five one zero five one zero six I type uh, one zero six point five nine it will start from here then we can do the manhole benching each manhole you need to provide one centimeter extra slope so the slope things you can manage like that and this table also if you calculate the table uh, the slope uh, see the invert level invert level is passing like that the length is uh, depends upon the length the invert level will go down so you can if you calculate the way I calculated you can uh, find why the figure is showing like that you can recalculate it also when you are getting a, a new drawing when, when you are going to execute a project you have to do the calculation like this then only you will understand uh, is there any mistake in the um, calculation or no maybe the consultant or draftman or whoever uh, they are preparing the drawing they they can make the mistake any so in this uh, scenario you can uh, double check whether uh, old manhole is uh, correct or no otherwise what will happen if the manhole level is wrong you will uh, maybe you will go up here you know the, all the pipes should come over here maybe this point uh, will not match with the external manhole or uh, you know sometimes it will go more deep means you cannot connect it to the external uh, drainage okay uh, m normally our uh, m building people building site engineers or whatever they have the responsibility to, to bring the manhole until this level this pipe this is a F um, uh, municipal manhole this manhole to this uh, manhole the connection is doing by municipal people uh, in uh, Gulf countries normally even uh, in India also I think uh, is uh, same scenario I think so our responsibility up to here we need to bring all the slope very properly uh, until here and the next level we will uh, go how we will do the testing we need to do the two types uh, testing first we will put water in this uh, last point in the top then the water should come over here until this point in here also we will put you know, you know this is you know flow test again uh, before doing flow test we need to do the um, you know leak test leak test means for example this is a big pipe uh, how much meter 17 meter is there so one pipe length is 6 meter only normally so there is there will be 2 or 3 joints will be there in between 
how we will test it we need to put a dummy over here plug you know end gap then we need to raise the pipe here we will put a elbow to upwards and we will uh, raise the pipe 1.5 meter height we will uh, raise and we will fill the water for two hours normally uh, this is as per uh, your um, method is method statement and the specification you need to double check also normally for two hours we will fill the water if the water level is going down then we need to do the uh, joined uh, testing before back filling back filling we need to do all these things okay so the installation details also i will uh, briefly explain how we will do the ins installation uh, um, means uh, we need to do the trenching first uh, with jcb or manually whatever we need to uh, excavate the uh, full area okay all this area we need to excavate and uh, there will be zero zero level uh, may mark in the building you can see over there in uh, building uh, column or uh, yes normally in the column there will be a marking and they, there is a particular level also is there um, maybe plus uh, FFL uh, 1 meter or something like this you need to convert that level uh, near, to, we, uh, near to this point and you will uh, find what is the depth uh, required for this uh, portion uh, I will uh, teach you in the next video also uh, how to convert uh, this um, building uh, invert level to this area uh, so then only we can do the excavation otherwise we cannot do excavation uh, which up until what level we need to do excavation we will not get the idea actually uh, so that thing uh, even civil people also also, uh, also they can help you how to convert this uh, invert level to here what is the how to um, uh, there is a you know equipments are uh, available uh, to convert the level even uh, by water level also you know that there is a tube pipe is there you no know, with that help with that uh, one also you can convert the invert level once you convert the invert level uh, you need to do the excavation and after that uh, you know you need to make uh, um, you know compaction compaction means uh, you will uh, put a little bit of water and there is a compaction machine is there like with vibrator it will hammer this full area otherwise you know once just use a trench uh, make the trench and you put the pipe this you know center portion may be go down you know by uh, getting the load so we need to put uh, make uh, uh, you know compaction for all this area it should be compacted then you will uh, lay down your pipe and you have to you know put small small uh, piece of uh, you know rod or something and you have to tie the pipe each uh, one meter otherwise you know pipe uh, you know plumb or uh, the straightness will lost Other, that's for that reason we need to tight it uh, even each one meter we will uh, put some piece of road and we will tight it with you know binding wire so the uh, pipe will not move here and there it will be you know, strong as it is then we will uh, do for all the gravity test as I said before again uh, we will uh, go for back filling after the consultant inspection uh, once the consultant, consultant uh, or the client who accepted this pipe installation then we will go for back filling again um, there is uh, in as per specification if it is required uh, there is you know tiles you know uh, you know uh, pipe protective tiles uh, if it is required you can f uh, fix it or and the next thing is that if uh, one uh, road or something is passing uh, in this area you have to make uh, concrete uh, in that case don't make the back filling uh, there is a you know uh, shuttering they will make uh, the civil people they will make uh, concrete filling uh, 200 200 uh, um, surrounding 200 mm surrounding they are making a uh, square you know they are making uh, concreting so then uh, if that car or truck or something is passing it will the pipe will not damage and the slope will not lost well, this is the thing uh, in there is if there is no uh, driveway or something you can uh, back fill it uh, with as per uh, consultant government and um, there after that there is a compaction is there uh, there is one or two step com compaction is there then you can back fill it over uh, completely now this is the thing so I think you understand the um, manhole uh, installation details and uh, see when, when you are uh, making the order the manhole you can uh, refer this table how many manhole is coming over here and uh, as per the um, this size you can uh, mention the uh, and medium size also you mentioned then the number of manholes you can order from here okay and then now i will once again i will explain the depth uh, here the depth is there see 
this one I think uh, you understand already this is the inver this is the pipe axle this is section view uh, this is the benching what I said uh, this is the benching this is the masonry people they will do once you fix the pipe this is the bottom pipe is bottom portion is invert level okay this invert level you need to maintain always uh, this is the depth of the manhole from here from the cover level see this is the cover level this is interlock will be here okay in the top here the driveway or whatever it is there uh, this uh, depth always will vary uh, in all, each manhole will be de depth will be different because uh, you know height uh, slope depends upon the slope this uh, depth will uh, vary so i think uh, you are clearly aware about uh, you clearly understand uh, to do this external drainage okay and one more thing i will uh, tell you very clearly uh, for example you can see th this manhole uh, this toilet line is connected here see see this toilet line is connected here so uh, this is uh, upvc pipe uh, drainage it's up, up as per specification okay double check what uh, kind of uh, pipe we need to use what i am saying saying there is a uh, floor drain is there okay floor drain this is only floor drain i think yes ground floor this is a uh, wash basin or a sink this is what laundry laundry means uh, there is a washing machine is there okay uh, washing machine okay if there is a wc is there okay what is this this is uh, you know outside uh, wash basin i think okay if there is a wc is there wc line will connect separately until here and will uh, make a gully trap here from the gully trap it will go here because the smell will not go return back okay uh, so sorry 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 uh, if there is a um, WC connections are there, I made a mistake actually. If there is a WC connection is there, WC will connect straightly. The floor drain will come uh, to the gully trap and after the gully trap it will go to the manhole. This um, uh, wash base, uh, washing machine it will uh, connect directly because there is a lot of you know um, for, for foam is there, you know, washing uh, foam is there. So that's why we will connect it directly otherwise gully trap will fill uh, always and here there is a trap is there so the smell uh, that much smell will not return back even if you connect it with the gully trap also there is no mistake uh, normally the people they will connect it directly this um, washing machine point and the toilet all the uh, toilet drainage like wash basin and uh, you know shower and uh, i will show you one toilet uh, where is the one toilet yeah here see you can see over here this is uh, wc this is one toilet this is wc this is uh, you know uh, i think uh, wash basin wc this is bidet yeah sorry this is bidet and this is wash basin and this is floor drain actually here okay all this point the drainage will go in one pipe all this three drainage wc will go separate line okay this all um, bedet and uh, you know, wash basin and floor drain will go in one pipe and will uh, if it is connecting to this manhole i will explain to you here will uh, there will be a gully trap will be here those wash basin everything will come to that gully trap from the gully trap it will go here and the drainage uh, you know wc line will come separately and will connect it to here this is the thing okay now uh, things is very clear i think uh, this is the scenario what we need to use i think uh, i explained uh, everything okay and when you are connecting uh, to this manhole also take care uh, all the um, um, toilet connections for example this point i will come to back to this point see this pipe this invert level see this pipe should be down and this pipe both pipes should be up otherwise what will happen this uh, the drainage is coming from here and it should go here no maybe it will return back to here that's why these two pipes should be up that in that uh, scenario you have to maintain the slope uh, from here then only you can uh, you know manage it properly uh, once you m make a hole in the manhole and you will uh, penetrate to this pipe until here and you will cut it over here you see okay now uh, i will explain to you what is back probe also in my next video see uh, thing is that i will uh, come back to here i'll explain right now no problem i'm not familiar in uh, autocad here i will make a draw, uh, section drawing okay for you 
for example, we have on uh, uh, here itself. I will show you. Here I will show you. For example, this manhole height is too much, uh, you know, deep. Uh, for this inverter level is more than uh, uh, too much uh, deep. And very near here we have one uh, toilet is there. This toilet uh, we need to connect it here. Uh, and when we are connecting this one, this uh, one pipe will come like this. For example, this one pipe is coming and connecting over here. Okay, this is one pipe. I put a single line only. I will put a double line if you want. Uh, then you will understand. See, this is a pipe. You can see this is a pipe actually. One, it is connecting over here. We are putting hole and you are connecting to the manhole. Then the depth, this depth, uh, this depth, depth should not exceed more than 40 centimeter. As per uh, you know municipal uh, regulation and all, it should not exceed more than um, 200. Sorry, 400. Uh, 400 mm. Sorry, 400 mm means 40 centimeter. Sorry, 40 centimeter should not, should not exceed more than 40 centimeter. Okay, why it is? If it is exceed, you know, it will uh, spray over here and it will completely, you know, um, spread all the waste over here. Then it will not good. That's why they are putting that regulation. In that case, what do you need to do? There is a backdrop system is there. Uh, okay, uh, I will uh, come back to you again. Uh, if there is a uh, toilet is there in this area, you cannot increase the slope. The slope. Maximum uh, should be 1 is to 200 or 1 is to 150 or 1 is to 100 in this scenario. You should not increase the uh, slope. The slope is increasing means the soil will stuck over there and uh, you know water only will flow there and this pipe may chance to you know jam. Uh, the, um, again it will be blocked uh, this pipe. In that case you will not exceed the slope. You cannot uh, make it down like that. In that case what you will do if the uh, this pipe uh, depth uh, invert level is more down you have to put a backdrop here see here to here this connection you will remove from here maybe backdrop you, uh, you can uh, check uh, in the um, Google also maybe you will find it I cannot draw it here uh, what is that here we will cut it I'll uh, reduce I cannot reduce it either From here, we will put an elbow down and we will connect like that. If it is more uh, depth, uh, then uh, this pipe will increase here also for you know clean out. Yes, there is a clean out will be there inside. Here, we will put a clean out. Yes, I don't know. this also will increase here. And here, we will put you know threaded clean out is there, threaded handicap. And here we will put a T or Y and we will bring down like this and we will connect like this. Uh, this is called the, you know, backdrop. This is the way we need to connect uh, drainage. Okay. So this is the class today. I think you are uh, happy with my class. If you are very happy, you can uh, subscribe to my, you know, channel. So that, you know, my up, uh, upcoming videos you can uh, see. Uh, I can uh, explain to you how to connect, how to do all these things. I can explain. There is a main drainage. So many things are there. We will uh, go one by one. In next class, we will see. Now this class is already too much uh, long. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Thank you.